In this cup is some liquid nitrogen. Maybe you've seen liquid nitrogen before. It's really cold. Minus 321 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 196 degrees on the Celsius scale. That's also 77 on the Kelvin scale. It turns out that you can freeze liquid nitrogen into solid nitrogen. To do that, you have to cool the liquid nitrogen a little bit and you also have to reduce the pressure on the liquid nitrogen. Why might I want to make solid nitrogen? Well, one of the moons of Neptune, called Triton, has solid nitrogen on its surface. So by making solid nitrogen, we'll get a little bit of an idea what it looks like on the surface of Triton. I'm going to pour some of this liquid nitrogen into this cup so we can see it. Then we're going to place the cup into this bell jar and turn on the vacuum. The vacuum will pump air out of the bell jar and reduce the pressure on the liquid nitrogen. It will also cause the nitrogen to evaporate very quickly. And as the nitrogen evaporates, it'll cool. The pressure will have to drop to below one eighth of atmospheric pressure. The temperature will have to drop to below minus 345 degrees Fahrenheit or below minus 210 degrees Celsius, which is 63 Kelvin. All right, let's turn on the pump. Let's zoom in to get a better look at what's going on. Remember, the pump is removing the gas from inside the bell jar, which lowers the pressure on the liquid nitrogen. The lowered pressure also causes the nitrogen to evaporate, and that evaporation cools the nitrogen. It looks like it's getting a little cloudy in there. I wonder if it's starting to form. Oh, did you see that? It looks like it's trying to form a solid. Let's keep watching to see if the solid forms again. Hey look, it looks like it formed. And it pulsed again. You know you can kind of tell the solid's forming when the, the layer on the surface kind of stops, just like that. And then it bursts and it goes back to a liquid where the top is sort of wavy. And it stopped again, I think it's a solid, and it bursts again. That's really cool. I think I'm just going to go ahead and watch this for a while. Oh wow, it looks like a lot's building up. Look at that. Maybe the solid you see in the cup is kind of like what the surface of Triton looks like. Now I'll turn off the pump, and as some of the nitrogen continues to evaporate, that'll cause pressure to build up inside the jar, and you see that has the effect of causing the solid nitrogen to melt. This pressure temperature phase diagram that you see for nitrogen will help us understand our observations. This phase diagram will help us understand what phase, solid, liquid, or gas, we would expect nitrogen to be under various conditions of pressure and temperature. Notice that pressure in atmospheres is listed on the vertical or y-axis and temperature in kelvins is listed on the x or horizontal axis. The horizontal dotted line that you see represents one atmosphere of pressure. That's basically the pressure of the air here on Earth. Any sample of nitrogen that has a pressure temperature combination that falls in the blue region would mean the nitrogen is a solid. Any sample of nitrogen that has a pressure temperature combination that falls in the green region would be a liquid. And of course, any sample of nitrogen that has a pressure temperature combination that falls in the yellow region would be a gas. The picture of the Earth that you now see on the diagram represents a common pressure temperature combination found on the surface of the Earth. That is, about one atmosphere air pressure and around 300 Kelvin temperature. Thus, Nitrogen is found as a gas on the surface of the Earth. Now in the lower left corner of the diagram, we see an image of the moon Triton. The image is placed at common pressure temperature combinations found on the surface of Triton. And we see that this picture overlaps the solid and the gas region of nitrogen. Thus, on the surface of Triton, 
we would expect to see nitrogen in both solid and gas forms. And that is the case. The atmosphere of Triton is generally a gas and the surface of Triton is solid nitrogen. Now draw your attention to the red dot on the diagram. This red dot represents the pressure temperature conditions of liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is 77 Kelvin and the air pressure on it was about one atmosphere. You can see that the red dot corresponds to this pressure and this temperature. When the liquid nitrogen was placed in the vacuum chamber, the pressure and the temperature simultaneously dropped. From the diagram, we can see that once the temperature dropped below 63 Kelvin and the pressure below 0.127 atmosphere, solid nitrogen could form. And that's what happened in the chamber. Do you remember the pulsing behavior we observed in the nitrogen, where it went from solid back to liquid and then to solid again? I'm not sure about this, but here's what I think is happening. The process of freezing is exothermic, which means the nitrogen releases energy when it freezes. The energy released could raise the temperature of the solid, making it enter the gas region. This increased amount of gas would of course increase the pressure, allowing the nitrogen to enter back into the liquid region. With the pump still operating, the pressure would then continue to drop, allowing the nitrogen to enter the solid region again, and the cycle would continue. I hope you enjoyed this video on the formation of solid nitrogen, and that you learned a little bit about why it forms, and why it's found on the surface of Triton. Thanks for watching.